What is up, people? Miss Valley are here bringing a new another video. Welcome back. GTA 3 Definitive Edition. We're outside the bitch dog food factory. I forgot about the rest of the payphone missions. There's no blip on the map for this. When um when I got off the last video, um the payphone blip uh came back up. But um yeah, I forgot I gotta do these. The crook. The name's Chocks, Marty Chocks. I run the bitch and dog food factory around the corner. I got money troubles, but hey, who doesn't, right? I'm meeting my bank manager later. He's a crooked bastard that keeps bumping up the loan repayment so he can cut a slice. Take my car, pick him up, and bring him back here. I got a little surprise for that blood sucking leech. Oh boy. Wants me to take his car, pick him up. Okay. Church, a cow pasture, and three houses. You piece of crap. Was invented. Liar. You're Out of liar. my way. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What are you? Are you? Are you three years old? Lazo's a liar. Lazo's a liar. I bet that isn't even your real name. Shut up. You shut up. Stoop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's Does go. Does working take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Sue your boss. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably win, or at least get a settlement. At the firm of Rakin and Ponser Personal Injury Attorneys, we can show you how falling down and howling like a sissy can result in a large damage award from your employer. We also specialize in awards for injuries suffered in auto, bus, and train accidents, and can even train you to throw yourself in front of a bus and pretend to be injured. Hey, that's why they pay for it. Oh, Mr. Trump sent you. Ooh. Let's go and say the fellow of it. All right, we're back on Almost got pulled out of the car. The chatter line here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware that... Okay, now, this is a radio show. We don't have viewers. We have listeners. Uh, okay. Anyway, Laszlo, I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the fairgrounds, bro. If you're interested in becoming a puppet master... Or if there he goes. You definitely come down, dude. It's going to be totally killer. <laughs> I wasn't aware that there was much demand for puppet shows these days. I mean, oh man, have you been living under a rock, bro? Guys with puppets get chicks. Get your hands off me, off! Hacky sack together. Take rack. the car to the crusher anyway, to get rid of the evidence. The International puppetry festival. We'll be having workshops on finger puppets too. I love Petunia the pinky. Meet Barry the thumb. String puppets, glove puppets, dude. It's gonna rock. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hope to see you there, Laszlo. Hey, by the way, can you give me that guy Fernando's number? Nah, I'm sorry. Fernando hasn't paid his bill to our ad sales department. But here's <laughs> someone who has. And they paid us in stacks of old groats and oh, gold. Oh, shit. Days. Didn't mean Back that. This. Do you live in the boring suburbs but dream of living in a lonely castle on a windswept moor? Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your SUV? What the hell? You stupid piece of shit with the shotgun. Are you serious? The name's John. Oh my god. That jackass. He shot me once with a shotgun and blew me up. Are you serious? In the Navy. The turnips! Yum yum! By genuine reproduction medieval artifacts including maces, double-handed battle swords, and one-size-fits-all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an authentic mechanical Lady of the Lake in Excalibur. It's perfect for your garden pond or can swimming pool. Here? I can. And learn okay. how to rid your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious... Lot faster. Oh, Mr. Trump sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. Liberty City Park. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, let's take a call. Who's on the How line? do I not get shot with a shotgun on my way out? Close. Like, that's what are you insane. Laszlo, close. Close, Laszlo. I hate him. I just hate him. <laughs> I mean, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is uh, Liberty City's premier phone-in station. But why don't you like close? I just okay. hate them. They're so He's gonna get cut up again. I mean, there's a line where closed, and the line is a king of the jungle. 
So why can't I, a humble citizen, go... Get your hands off me, ah! Peace! Over you one, I mean, it says you say a king, okay. and therefore it can exercise its royal prerogative. Here we go again. Wear clothes, and two, it's a cat, and therefore it doesn't have to. And three, I mean, now that I think about it, if you want to try to dress a lion, you can, but I guess, I guess what we're learning is that life can be a little unfair at times. I'm naked, Laszlo. I'm naked. I, you know, I really Let's try to not get, get killed Laszlo again. Somehow. I'm naked, I'm gonna die naked. I'm going to live naked. So there, there's nothing wrong with being naked. It's so invigorating feeling the hot leather of your chair or the cool wind from the north on your naked body. These people make turns so fast. I got shot with a shotgun again. Are you... Are you guys fucking stupid? Oh my god. How am I supposed to get there if I can't get there? It takes two shotgun shots and I'm dead. Oh my god. How am I supposed to do this? I guess I should have done this before starting a war with the Mafia. Damn. This is insane. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for Liberty City Naturist. We have more members Open. now first time since 1977. Unity is back. A lot of people are I guess there's... I, maybe I can go a long way around? I don't know. I have no idea. I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swinging. Oh, Mr. Trump sent you, did he? Let's go and pay the fellow a visit. I'll try to see if I can find a longer way around. I'm not really sure where the Mafia is and isn't. Under my guidance, Love Media has emerged to the fastest growing US run media conglomerate of the past five years. Open. With newspapers, television, and radio. That takes forever too. Waiting for the gate to open. Alongside a wide array of industrial and technology interests, we oh at Love Media God. ensure you get the truth behind the story every time. From films to dog food, from radio to pop music, you can be sure of independent, quality-led broadcasting every time you tune in. That's why we're the fastest growing cable supplier and health insurance provider in the Northeast. And why our new satellite in China is something all Americans can be proud of. Get your hands off me, ah! Peace! Okay. And to help hard -working Americans relax, this is my third attempt on, on a side payphone mission that should only take about three minutes. That's insane. Ooh, that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. All right, let's go to line eight. Hello, okay. caller. I'm going to try to go this way instead. Bob from Pine Creek. Hey, uh, what's up, Bob from Pine Creek? So I've been listening to your show. There's always people going on about problems in school. Gum, people showing disrespect. I feel like they're going to be well, over here, too, though. Well, they're breeding grounds for crime, ain't they? I guess it seems that way. Well, I got a real simple solution. Shut them down. Shut down school. I don't know where their actual area okay. is. No more ink. Sorry. Well, but you don't think... No, I don't. Never. Now listen to me. It makes perfect sense. Okay, that was a lot better, though. They complain a lot, but you know what? Cost even more. I mean, shoes, books... That was a lot better. Special tiny birds who test that sort of crap. It's all about me. Me, 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 me. Well, not my Johnny. No, sir. Uh-uh. I'm learning him the value of good, hard work. There we go. Isn't there supposed to be a van here? Guess not. I feel like even though technically I've already um, met my time that just felt really dumb to, to just end on that so I'm gonna do one more anyway you go to sleep during the day that's another eight grand right there so now I'm buying me a oh the car's not here uh, this is at least better than that car my kid how can I exploit something I own exploitation sound like a communist kids in Russia they don't work that's why everything's so messed up over there oh boy. you have to wait in line for toilet paper and their space stations are just made out of milk cream I'll tell you working for a living is the American way that 
and the only thing more American is have folks work for you. That sounds I gotta make it back to that payphone by 17, 1800, something like that. 19. My kid, I'm telling you, just shut the schools down, make the kids work. Okay, good. I made it. Ooh. Shotgun person's right there by the freaking hospital and police station. Damn. Okay. The thieves. I hired some thieves to break into my apartment and steal some stuff so I could claim on the insurance issue. The thieving bastards are threatening to tell the insurance company if I don't give them a cut. Can you believe it? I left the car inside the factory gates. Use it to go pick them up from their turf in the red light district. Then bring them back to the factory so I can make them see Marty's point of view. Sounds good. Oh my, what the hell? Okay, I stole the taxi that I didn't want. exercise equipment off the TV. So what if it gets three miles to the gallon? <laughs> I'm a mom, not a conservationist. Open, damn it. The new my Batsu monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Mine is bigger. You a giraffe overnight. Petsovernight.com. Delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, you are listening to Chatterbox, hosted by me, Laszlo, because I got kicked off the rock station. Let's go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my control interrogated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. I am very close to where the mafia yeah, place is. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people. Damn these people. I think. Think of all the things you can do. I mean, if you want to buy a new thing, what do you do? I have a bunch of money on the ground. And the name's Laszlo. That's funny. I'm so Leslie. I'm a regular listener. Well, I don't. I buy a CD online, and then I rip the music into a different format, so I can listen to it while I'm jogging. Well, this one was better. Oh, yeah, I've got to crush the car again, don't I? The internet is really good for my hot music. Open. I should rattle up. I don't know. Holy crap. Stupid gate. I don't envy those kids with their stock options or their fast cars. They earn them. The internet has saved my life. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um... Wow. Well, Do you have I anything interesting to say at all? That's phenomenal. It's probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. There we go. Hello, uh, Easy there, partner. Whoa. Whoa. Put it down. Not? Come on, put it down. <laughs> Oh, get the car resprayed. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting. Totally expected it to be crushed again. Not really. I mean, what's your name? What did you call about? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I, I'm Maria. You know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only different, you know. But, you know, men. M E N. <laughs> oh, it's a dirty word. Only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a boys' nights. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Uh, one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet. I know what you're all like. You know more about men than I know about leopard skin furniture. So let's Bring the car back to the factory. Oh, advice, okay. Got real problems. You see, Oops, okay. I already I damaged it. Is that okay? At first, he was real kind to me. He was a real gentleman. A little bit older and everything, but you know, he treated me really good. And, and it all went wrong. And so, you know, I found someone else. And he seems real nice, but, you know, he don't talk too much. So I really can't tell who likes me. And, well, I guess what I want to know is... Oh, she's calling about Claude. You know, he treats me good, but he doesn't seem real interested in me. You know, he's always working and hanging out with the guys. Um, say, you don't think he's like you, do you? What do you mean, like me? Well, what are you insinuating? Th that he's on the radio? Well, probably not. Um, you're listening to Chatterbox, where your opinion matters, or at least we say that. Let's go over here to line four. Hello, caller, what's your name? Two thousand dollars. Very nice. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment down below. I'll see you again next time. Bye.